Embroidery Studio provides many stitch types and effects for creating natural, organic stitching styles. In this video, we look at related techniques for transforming a machine embroidery design into a more natural hand embroidered look for a cushion, upholstered chair, or other application. For hand stitching, embroiderers tend to use long and short satin stitching or contoured runs to fill large areas. This is the effect we're aiming for. Opening up satin stitching with contoured effects. First we take the pink satin petals of our embroidered flower and apply offset fill. This produces a series of curved outlines which exactly follow the contours of the shape. Note that we use a longer stitch length and turn off variable length to create a more natural hand stitched look. Next we apply contour fill to the satin petal tips and stems. Contour is a curved stitch type which can be applied to both fills and outlines. Stitches follow the contours of a shape, creating a light and shade effect. Use it to create a sense of movement in contrast to flatter fills of satin or tatami stitching. Next we open up the remaining satin stitching with increased auto spacing. Turn off underlay. Smaller and narrower objects need more spacing if you use higher stitch counts. Auto splits are not required. Similarly, we are going to open up the outlines with a larger than normal run stitch length. Turn off variable run length. Applying hand stitch effect. While open stitching can create a more naturalistic look, new hand stitch can enhance it. This effect can be applied to satin, tatami, run, backstitch and other stitch types. Here we apply it to satin. Use the settings to combine randomized stitch length, angle and count. Be careful when using higher stitch roughness lengths. Since we have turned off satin auto splits, this can create jumps. For a more hand stitch look, use a higher stitch mass count. Be aware, however, that higher stitch counts can cause stitch bunching or lumpy stitching. Optionally, the variant settings offer an easy way to try out variations of your preferred settings. Creating a quilted background. Now we look at an interesting technique for creating quilted backgrounds. First we duplicate the outline and turn it into a filled tatami object or silhouette. The reason will become apparent. Place this object at the start of the stitch sequence. Next we create a background four times the size of our design extremities. Change background color and place it at the start of the stitch sequence. Now, using the wreath tool, take the entire design and duplicate as shown. The beauty of this technique is that with mirror merge tools, color blocks are automatically resequenced to minimize color changes. Now, selecting all four silhouettes, use them as cutters with the remove overlaps function. Once their purpose is served, they can be deleted. Finally, apply Maze Fill to create the quilted background effect we're looking for. Maze Fill is perfectly suited to this, as it's designed to automatically fill large areas with double spiral stitching. And there we have it, a beautifully naturalistic quilted design for a cushion, upholstered chair, or other application.